can do self-directed learning via the SLS tools that's available. So the first thing you take note is at the cover page and the, it's typically not possible to do any annotations. So you need to go inside the activity of which then you can actually select uh, the text to annotate within the activity. So this is what it means. Lah. The other way is you can create a quick note and then the lastly, uh, I'm going to explain how you can do it via the add note to, to image. So the first one is, for example, um, you want to do something, let's say silent preparation. So you, once you select it, it will pop up these three big the colors. You can choose the one that you like. Then you can write something meaningful. Lah, no? So maybe silent is important to you or not. Then you can save the note and then you can see that it's, it's available here via the the height drawer uh, and the show drawer so if you want to delete it uh, you want to add more comments you can just add more comment via this add button then you can add more you know then you can you can add more notes to it lah. Oh. and if you want to delete it it's always via this three dot then you can edit it or delete it so I'm not going to do it because it's probably too simple a feature that uh, I think you, you can follow easily. So this is the first uh, capability of SLS to support self-directed learning and notate text within activity. The second is to add uh, via the create note. So I'm going to create a note. Something important for the entire uh, activity, uh, activity here. So something, so I create a note. So the notes will always appear uh, at the top. Uh, so this is useful, let's say if I were to revisit my SLS lesson in my assignment given by my teachers uh, and then when I look at the respective activity pages, I can see my notes again. So just take note that you need to activate it by expanding the drawer. Okay, when you come back to the lesson, you, know, you, you will not see it automatically. Oh. So the last and final way is you can add a, a self-directed note by adding a note to image. So you click on it once, then it says tap to begin. So then let's say the word um, us is important. So I can add a us and then, then I can say you know something something insightful as a note over here. Uh, you can add via uh, symbols and all that, lah, mathematical symbols. I'm not going to add it. Okay, close it. Uh, you can also add chemical equations, you know, so if once you insert it will work. And lastly, you can add a, a background picture. You know? So uh, that just would save. So it will all appear here. Okay, so once it becomes uh, too cluttered or maybe you want to synthesize certain uh, notes, then you can come here to the three dot and delete it or edit it again. Also, let's say I delete it, then it will disappear. Okay, then, then the other one has gone. So because I have many, many uh, notes here, so that's why it's, uh, it's being displayed. Lah. Oh, so very quickly, this is how you can do it uh, SDL in, SL in SLS.